The first speaker in our list is Lydia Magasian, Assembly of Armenians of Western Armenia. If you are inside the room, could you take the floor? Merci, Madame la Présidente. Thank you, Chair. The Armenian state was recognized in 1920, and therefore the state of Western Armenia is the successor state. It was one of the first indigenous states to be recognized by other states at the end of the First World War. At the first assembly of the League of Nations, the Armenian question was raised, and at its ninth plenary session in 1920, the assembly adopted a resolution promoting collaboration between it and the Council. Here I would like to hail all of the governments who stated at the time that they would support Armenia, as well as U.S. President Wilson. I recall that in 1917 it was Russia that was the first to decree the right to self-determination for Western Armenia until its independence, and then the Allied powers w supported an independent Armenia in a program that was then dismantled by Stalin. The Armenian state was de facto recognized on the 19th of January 1920 and then de jure recognized in May 1920 by the Supreme Allied Council. The arbitral Wilson ruling of 1920 then set the border of Western Armenia. The delegation of Armenia in 1920 signed the Treaty of Sèvres and this was ratified by the successor state in 2016. Following the Armenian genocide, we have mechanisms to reconstitute our state a hundred years after this most terrible of crimes, and I have the honor of holding the post of Minister of Foreign Affairs in this government. The constituent components of a state are a population, a territory, and a government. There has been an illegal occupation of our country, which aims to impede the existence of our Armenian state. We therefore call for the issue of the occupation of Western Armenia to be inscribed in the agenda of the Human Rights Council. I thank you for listening.